We are heading to Casa Prana, which I think is one of the best hotels in the area, but I mean, it's, it's gonna be tough to beat with, with this hotel. Mm -hmm. because we were sad to leave La Fortuna, but after seeing this place, the tears dried up real quick. So let me Welcome to Casa Prana, one of the best hotels in all of Guatemala. We stayed here for only one night, since it was a bit out of our budget. We wish we had more time to show you more of the hotel property, but unfortunately the weather wasn't on our side, since it was a bit cloudy and rainy on the day we arrived. We did the best we could to showcase this property. We hope you enjoy. Casa Prana is a luxury boutique five-star hotel situated on the northern shores of Lake Atitlan. Come check out this amazing property with me and Daniel. It's gonna blow your mind. On a sunny day, you can enjoy views of both the lake and volcanoes in the distance. Unfortunately, we didn't get lucky with the weather, but it was still an epic view nonetheless. Walking around the property, we noticed thoughtful little details throughout. Candles were lit all over the inside and outside of the hotel, while peaceful music played in the common areas and lounges. If you watched our previous videos, all the places we visited grew their own ingredients, and Casa Prana definitely didn't disappoint. So we are here at the Prana Garden. This is where they grow all of their local produce that they cook in the kitchen below for all their guests. So come along with me, I'll show you all the delicious veggies. So one of the most unique things about this hotel is that they grow all of their food here. So whatever is grown right here goes right into the kitchen and onto your plate. So they have all sorts of lettuce, celery, parsley, pretty much any type of green you want to eat, they grow it here. So when we got here, the owner showed us around the property and he made a special note to show us this beautiful berry tree. He told us you could pick them right off and eat them. The pool area was one of our favorite features. We ordered lunch and sat in one of the poolside bungalows. We were huge fans of their avocado toast. Trust us on this one, you have to order it. We stayed in the Prana Suite for the night. Check out how cool this room is. It also had an epic master bathroom where you can get an awesome Instagram pic. We're on our way to dinner. It's raining a little bit outside, so hopefully they'll be able to figure out a spot for us to eat dinner. Should be a really, really delicious, really, really delicious dinner. We're really excited to eat here. The food is really, really good because it's locally grown right in their backyard. All the ingredients, I think, except for obviously the fish and, and the meats and stuff, but all the vegetables and everything are grown here. Okay, so it's actually hilarious that we're here <laughs> because Daniel and I have been laughing at the fact that back home in Rhode Island, we're usually making dinner and eating it on our couch and spilling half of it on our couch, let's be honest, and just like quickly pushing it to a side. And then fast forward today, and we're like in this really fancy, fancy place, trying to act all proper. It's just, it's just wild. I feel uncomfortable being this fancy. Tell me you're in your 30s without telling me you're in your 30s. We got mock tails. <laughs> They're really good. So we just finished the most delicious dinner that we've ever had in our I don't want to be dramatic, but in our entire life, a little dramatic. 10 out of 10, the best food that we've had here in Guatemala. Absolutely. So now we kind of have to deflate a little. We're gonna go play some pool. Well, I'll have Daniel teach me actually. We're gonna play. And there's a little fireplace here, so we're gonna ask them to light the fire and we'll just kind of have a really nice 
little night here. Good morning. Our last full day in Guatemala has arrived. Um, we are heading to breakfast and we're gonna enjoy our last few hours here because there's actually sunlight. Um, last night it rained. We were hoping to catch some glimpses of the sun and looks like the sun god has blessed us. We are gonna be eating breakfast right outside here. There's no one around, so it's quite nice. We'll have a nice little breakfast together. And pretty much our last breakfast here in Guatemala. Tomorrow we have to wake up early to go to the airport. So I think this one will do. I think this is one of the most beautiful places I have ever been. We're gonna walk around the grounds, take some photos, um, some video obviously so we can show people, whoever wants to come here, just how beautiful it really is. Daniel and I are hanging out here by the pool, um, just enjoying the view. So I just wanna say we've enjoyed our stay here. It's been amazing, awesome. Definitely recommend this place if you're looking for a little getaway. Had a fantastic stay here. We're quite sad to leave, but this is a place that you definitely wanna come back to and enjoy again. So on our way back to Antigua, Alright, so we're back in the States. Thank you Guatemala for an unforgettable experience. We cannot wait to go back. And now please join us in our next adventure in the land of fire and ice. You won't want to miss it.